Okay, we've got the new Dexus uh, IXS sensor installed. It's the one showing up in green. Uh, the one to the right with the red X is your original Gendex sensor. And once y'all send it back, I'll get rid of that icon. You'll just have the one. But I went ahead and added extra icons up here. Hopefully, that will curse some confusion. I didn't want to just get rid of the Gendex altogether, just in case y'all had some trouble navigating. You still could use the uh, Gendex sensor until you send it back. So this icon here, that is uh, your Gendex sensor you've been using. This one right here, that is the new Dexas sensor. So if you, if you click on that one, you'll know which sensor because here it doesn't give you the option of the Dexas sensor, it's just the Gendex. So if you got the sensor, Gendex sensor plugged in, you still click here and it's just the normal way you've always taken an uh, x-ray. If you click on this one, it's going to bring up this window right here. And that is that uh, GX picture I was trying to get loaded the other day. Um, you just take as many pictures as you're wanting to take. Uh, and we're talking about a PA here. You just continue taking pictures or taking x-rays. And however many shows up in this box, when you click done, of course there's not any now, but when you click done, then they'll show up right here on your image Excel. Uh, for the bite wings, if you're doing a two bite wing, if you'll notice this first one just says two bite wings. That's the original Gendex sensor. This one, two bite wings, it shows that it's a Dexus. So, this one didn't change any. It'll still bring up this window if you're, you know, and you can continue, it'll go green if the uh, Gendex sensor is plugged in. If you're using the Dexas sensor, which is what y'all will be using eventually all the time, uh, you'll click this one and it will come up and ask you this question here and you're just going to say yes. You'll click this. Now comes that window that came up when you were just doing the single sensor. Here you'll take your bite wings, your two bite wings, and when you click done, you won't get this window because I canceled it, but when you click done, it'll populate the uh, two bite wings in the tabs that they're supposed to be in. Same thing with the four byte wing. There's your original Gen, uh, Gendex sensor. Here is your DEXA sensor. Okay. I didn't go ahead and fit, make four new FMXs, and I'll show you why here in just a second. But I did change the, um, the multiple and the continuous to use the Gendex sensor. I mean the DEXA sensor, excuse me. So it will only bring up this right here. And the thing is, your original Gendex sensor will work in this window as well if you make a mistake. Only thing you have to do is click this up here and pick which sensor is being used. I'm going to set it to the Dexus because that's what we want it to use in this window. But if you mess up and you've got the Gendex sensor in here before you send it back, you can check that, and that Gendex sensor will work here. But the Dexus will only work in this window. Uh, I believe that's pretty much it. Oh, what I was gonna tell you was, reason why I didn't make a bunch of FMXs, if you bring up this window here, which y'all probably already know, it will have every one of these inside that, that window. And if you'll click here, It'll bring up this window here. And if you like the way this looks, like this one's set to the Gendex right now. This one's set to the Dexus. You can scroll here until you find the template that you want. Until you find the four of the uh, Dexus or the four of the Gendex. But like I said, you won't have all this once we go down to the one sensor. 
The easiest way is to click the list there. Now you can see which one you want to check, whether it's just the Gendex or the Dexus. This is the simplest way. And there's your FMXs for the Dexus. And like I said, once we get rid of the Gendex, I'll take a lot of this clutter out to where it's just the Dexus sensor. But for right now, I didn't want y'all to click on something and not have a sensor to use, so I'm giving you the option to still use the old one and the new one. If y'all got any questions, just give me a call. Um, sorry I couldn't get it done the other day. Thanks.